Hey, thanks for listening. These are all the skits that aired on the Knox by Night Radio Hour in August and September of 2016. Uh, one show aired in August, and that was our first episode, and the theme for that show was firsts. And the rest of the skits you'll hear were from September, and our theme for September was superheroes and comic books. So here are all the skits from the Knox by Night Radio Hour, August and September 2016. Howdy, folks. Colonel Sanders here to tell you about my new $5 meal deal. It's got four pieces of chicken, two biscuits, and... Colonel Sanders, telephone. Cut. Can't you see I'm in the middle of making a commercial here? Sorry, sir, but it's your lawyer. He says it's important. All right. Give me just a second, fellas. Take five, everybody. Hello. Hey, Shlomo. Uh-huh. Just trying to make this commercial. The police. What? Ah, uh, the 90s were kind of a blur to me. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of chickens. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that chicken. How could I forget that chicken? What? Pictures? You gotta be kidding me. Of course I don't read the tabloids. You know I can't read, slow-mo. The Bill Cosby of the South. Turn myself in. Ah. If you say so. All right, guys. I've got to go. Sorry. Uh, someone get Norm McDonald on the phone. See if he's free. The new Lardy's Monster Meat Burger. A triple thick burger topped with another triple thick burger. A pork chop. A boneless chicken breast. A beer battered fish fillet. A half a dozen buffalo wings. A New York strip. A T bone. A prime rib. Filet mignon. A half a rack of ribs, 12 ounces of pulled pork, roast beef, a foot long coney, a fresh Maine lobster tail, another triple thick burger, six slices of thick cut bacon, roast beef, salami, pastrami, and pepperoni served on a sesame seed bun. The Lardy's Monster Meat Burger. Go f yourself, Arby's. Jason! Hey, over here, Jason. Where you been? Hey, man. What's going on? How was your first day of freshman year? Oh, it was the worst day ever. It was everything my brother said it would be. Oh, tell me about it. They rolled me down to freshman hill, but my dad taught me to just tuck my knees and my elbows into my tummy. That way it won't hurt such as bad. I must have rolled down the hill probably 30 or 40 times. Well, now it's preparations worth a pound of cure, they say. Oh, no, kid. They also gave me... Six wedgies, which is horrible, because I only wore seven pairs of underwear. I'm down to my last one. Saved by the bell. My day sucked, too, man. They took me to the bathroom, and I got six swirlies, and I got seven noogies. It was like a new school record or something I heard somebody say. Oh, no. Hey, has anybody seen Kenny? He was supposed to meet us here. I don't know. Where is Kenny? Uh, Oh, my gosh, uh, Kenny, you're beating. Yeah, I was shot in the leg. Oh my oh. god, you dipstick. I told you not to wear that Spongebob shirt. Oh, it's my favorite shirt. Oh, oh. man, who shot you? Uh, Mr. Smith. The art teacher? Yes. Did you tell anybody? <laughs> no. Snitches get stitches. Oh, man, we gotta get you out of here. Well, hey, guys, my mom's outside. Uh, I'll see if she can take Kenny to the hospital. Can you help me get him out there? Uh, well, I, I, guess you, I gotta go to band practice. Okay. I'll just see you guys later. Okay, let's go, Kenny. I believe I can fly. I think about it every now and then. We're really gonna get you out of here. Spread my wings and fly away. Ooh. Mr. Smith, report to the office, please. Mr. Smith, to the office. The Justice League is recruiting new talent. But will they find it here? This is The Justice League Needs Talent. I'm your host, Robin the Boy Wonder. And now let's meet our judges. The Blue Boy Scout, Superman, Gotham's Dark Knight, Batman, and the Amazon Warrior herself, Wonder Woman. Let's meet our first contestant. Greetings. Please tell us your name and your powers. Yeah, so uh, my name's Phone Man. Phone Man. Are you some sort of fake man? No, I make foam. Foam! You know, like bubbles, suds, and such. That sounds like a stupid... Oh! Oh my god, my eyes! 
Oh, it burns. Oh, God, it burns so bad. I like this one. You go to the next round. Hello. Please tell us your name and your powers. Hey, guys. My name's Grassman, man. Grassman, man? No. Grassman, man. Grassman, man? No, man. Grassman, man. That's what we keep saying. Uh, you're not listening, man. It's Grassman, man. I'm confused. Oh, uh, it's easy, man. I'm Grassman. Man? Jesus, that's what we keep saying. Sorry, grass man, man. We don't have time for this. But I didn't even tell you my powers, man. Next. Hello, I am Green Canteen. Next. Next. Sorry, friend. We already have enough green members. Next. Hello, I'm the Plumisher. I would imagine your outfit would be purple, but you're wearing all black. I'm what you would call an anti-hero. What are your abilities? I'm a highly skilled fighter. And I'm also a licensed plumber. The Hall of Justice could benefit from having a plumber on staff. What do you think, Batman? Well, I like your choice of costume color. And I admire a fighter. I think you'd be a good addition. You're going to the next round. We'll be right back to pick the winner after these messages. Capes, gauntlets, gadgets. We got it all here at Gus's Superhero Costume Warehouse and Emporium. You need something to hide your identity? We got that. You need some boots? We got those too. We got all kinds of gloves. Full fingers, no fingers, cuffs, gauntlets. Hey, sir, I need something to hide my identity. We got everything you need. We got masks. We got cowls. We even got sunglasses. Do you have any magical hammers? Sure we do. Right here, kid. Thanks. Do you have anything smaller? You betcha! We got magical hammers in all sizes! Oh, there it is, just my size! Hey, I'm a super villain, I'm new around here. I need a machine gun disguised as a baby carriage. No! We don't serve your kind at Gus's Superhero Costume Warehouse and Emporium! Do you have any deals? We got your deals! All month long, we're having a sidekick special. The smaller the sidekick, the bigger the savings. Sail in soon, so hurry down to Gus's Superhero Costume Warehouse and Emporium. Route 21, just past the freeway. Welcome back to the Justice League Needs Talent. We've narrowed it down to two contenders, Foam Man and the Plumisher. Judges, have you made a decision? We have. And the winner is... The Plumisher! Yes! Oh man, you have a unique ability, and we see you doing great things in the future. Good luck, Foam Man. So, Plumisher, you want to go fight some crime? Yeah. Sounds good. We'll see you next time on the Justice League Needs Talent. In a secret laboratory five miles under Metropolis, Lex Luthor holds Jimmy Olsen, star photographer for the Daily Planet, hostage. Now that my new kryptonite weapon is complete, I can finally defeat Superman for good. And you, Jimmy Olsen, are the key to my victory. You'll never get away with this, Luther. Superman will beat you. He always does. Not this time, camera boy. Not so fast, Luther. Who are you? I'm Mundane Man. Oh, I was expecting Superman. Superman's currently off planet. I'm his backup in Metropolis. Are you okay? You seem a little tired. I'm fine. Are you sure? I could mix you a drink. I don't drink, Luthor. Well, maybe you should start. <laughs> Good one, Lex. Don't worry, Jimmy. I'll have you out of here in no time. Uh, you know, I'm actually okay here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, if, if Lex doesn't mind me hanging out till you know, Superman gets back. Uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. <sighs> okay, then. Guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> what was that guy's deal? <laughs> My day, man. <laughs> For sure. Oh, if the shoe fits. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Lex. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast to bring you a press conference from the Man of Steel. 
Good afternoon. I'm here today to talk about the destruction Metropolis has endured as a result of my battle with Darkseid. I cannot begin to express my heartbreak from the lives lost and the sheer amount of damage we have caused. I am happy to report, however, that Darkseid was defeated and no longer poses a threat to the good people of Metropolis. I will be helping to rebuild the city over the next few weeks. At this time, I will take any questions you may have. Uh, Dell Jacobs uh, with the Gotham Gazette. Superman, why did you stop wearing your underwear on the outside? I hardly see the relevance of your question, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Miss Lane, The Daily Planet. So, Superman, say you're a woman and you have this boyfriend. I'm not sure where you're going with this, Miss Lane, but continue, please. Anyway, say he has a problem rising to the occasion, if you know what I mean. I hardly think this is the time or place to be discussing these issues, Miss Lane. Next question. Roger Mantooth, the London Post. Is it true you're faster than a speeding bullet? Yes, Mr. Mantooth, I am indeed faster than a speeding bullet. In more ways than one. Well, what's that, Miss Lane? Oh, nothing. John Whitman, the Times! Superman, how does it feel to be beaten by Batman? Look, Batman and I fought, and he didn't beat me. Batman cheated. If anything, I won. Next question, Miss Lane. So say you have that boyfriend I mentioned before. He always has time for everyone else, but he can't meet his girlfriend and her dad for dinner. Well, Miss Lane, maybe if this hypothetical girlfriend would be a little more adventurous and try some new things in the bedroom. No, I'm not even answering this. Next question. Uh, Superman, uh, Del Jacobs here. Uh, your cousin, Supergirl, is she single? She's not your type, Mr. Jacobs. Next question. Roger Mantooth again. Superman, why don't you have a sidekick? Because I'm Superman, okay? Superman doesn't need a sidekick. Superman works alone. Superman, are you anatomically comparable to a human below the belt? You know this press conference is over. A uh, frustrated Superman has flown through the roof of the conference center, causing even more damage. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. On a remote desert island, Professor Mayhem puts the finishing touches on his latest weapon. At last, my laser death ray is complete. Tonight, Coast City will be mine. Now it's time to celebrate. Hulk, evildoer! Who are you? I am Pie Man. Oh, good. I love pie. Do you have cherry? Oh, oh, how about rhubarb? No, not that kind of pie. Numerical pie. Come again? I'll show you. 3.14159265358979323846264. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop you right there. I can tell this is going to take a while. Um, I'm going to go grab some real pie because you've got me kind of craving it now. Um, I'd be glad to bring you back a slice. Would you like some? I don't want your pie. Now let me show you the power of my pie. Uh, okay, Four, I'll, I'll three, be back in three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, zero, How two, about eight, a drink? Uh, 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 lemonade? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Eight, eight, four, one, nine, seven, Well, one, pie seven, man, stop nine, Professor nine, Mayhem nine, and save nine, Coast City, eight, seven, or will Professor four, Mayhem five, just eat eight, pie? Eight, Tune eight, in next nine, time seven, to find eight, out. Four, nine, four, four, five, nine, two, three, zero, seven, eight. One six four zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine. Eight. A four wheel drive, a double wide. My best girl by my side. Uncle Dad wants a bass boat bad, and Sister Mom's always fried. Ice cold beer, been hunting deer, and working hard all week. Going out tonight, maybe pick a fight and drink till I cannot speak. This has been Hillbilly Poetry on the Knox by Night Radio Hour. Destruction, terror, world domination. Those things could be yours if you come to Victor Von Bad Guy's Villain Outlet and Closeout Center. We have everything for your villainous needs. Super core robotic suits? Check. Rocket launchers and flamethrowers? Check. Machine guns disguised as baby stroller? Check. I need something villainous for my next heist. Well, 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 who might you be? I am Madame Mischief, 
and I'm looking for a good deal. Well, look no further. Vivacious villain vixens get up to 60% off on weekdays at Victor Von Bad Guys Villain Outlet and Closeout Center. Hey, I'm a new superhero and I need a cape. No, we don't serve your kind at Victor Von Bad Guys Villain Outlet and Closeout Center. You've tried the rest, now come to the best. We'll match any competitor's advertised price. We won't be undersold. So come down to Victor Von Bad Guys Villain Outlet and Closeout Center, Highway 409, Exit 5. <laughs> Tonight, one lucky lady will score a chance to go on a date with one of Gotham City's finest. This is Gotham Dating Game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Good evening, I'm your host, Bert Devins Dipple, and welcome to Gotham Dating Game. Let's meet tonight's bachelors. Bachelor number one is Gotham's Dark Knight, the Caped Crusader, Batman! Thanks for having me! Bachelor number two, the Dark Knight sidekick, the boy wonder himself, Robin! Pleasure to be here! And bachelor number three, the gentleman of crime, the Penguin! <laughs> now let's meet our lucky lady, Jenna Pepperoni! Hello, Bud. Thanks for having me. Okay, bachelor number one, it's our first date. Where do you take me? Well, it would probably be on a rooftop somewhere overlooking Gotham City. And we would also be doing a little surveillance because there's a shipment of drugs coming into the harbor. Uh, bachelor number two, same question. We'd probably end up at a little out-of-the-way cafe. Dutch, of course. I do make a sidekick salary. Oh. Okay, bachelor number three, we're on a date and we get our food and there's a fly in my soup. What do you tell the waiter? I am not a human being. I am an animal. Cold-blooded. Crank the AC. Well, that'd probably get our meals comped, I'm sure. And it was a little hot in there anyway. Bachelor number two. We're walking down the sidewalk and there's a puddle. You don't want me to walk through it. What do you do? Well, I would lay my cape down, but that would get it dirty. I'd probably use my grappling line to swing us across. Oh, that sounds dangerous. I'm not much of the adventurous type. Bachelor number one, same question. You tough it out. It's just a puddle, for God's sakes. Easy, big fella. Okay, bachelor number three, it's the end of the night, and you just walked me to my door. Where do we go from there? My babies. My beautiful babies. Oh, there you are. Did you miss me? Ooh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> okay, bachelor number one, same question. The night never ends. Justice never sleeps. Okay, you've got some serious issues, bachelor number one. Bachelor number two, same question. Handshake? No. High five? No. I don't know the right answer. All right, Jenna Pepperoni, have you made a decision? I have, but I choose... Bachelor number three. <laughs> Save the mayor. This is crap. I couldn't say this, maybe. That's all the time we have tonight. See you next time on Gotham Dating Game. The new Lardy's Loaded Breakfast Burrito with sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs, cheese, a short stack of pancakes, a waffle maple syrup, a biscuit, gravy, a bowl of cereal, a bagel, french toast, a cup of coffee, a glass of orange juice, hash browns, a bear claw, a crepe, a danish, toast, a pop tart, a scone, grits, country ham, a muffin, an omelet, and a donut. The new Lardy's Loaded breakfast burrito. Start your day off right. Are you constantly bullied or picked on? Are you not the physical type? Do you just want to learn how to protect yourself? Then you need to come down to Stone Cypher's Jiu-Jitsu Martial Arts Studio. We'll teach you such techniques as the penny pinch of death. And how to use such weapons as the throwing star of David. 
So come down to Stone Cypher's Jiu Jitsu Martial Arts Studios. Jiu Jitsu, it's a play on words. Come to our open house the first Friday of every month. Enjoy a kosher buffet made by my wonderful wife Rose. Jiu Jitsu, see you there. <laughs> You used to call me on the... You used to, you used to. Yeah. You used to call me on the bad ball. Like that when you need my help. Call me on the bad ball. Late night when you need my help. And I know when that bad phone ring. Can only mean one thing I know when that bad phone ring That can only mean one thing Saving Gotham City from these fools Catwoman and Two-Face are on the loose again I'm on the trail of Joker and Harley Quinn I really hope that Bane won't make my back again Saving Gotham City from these fools Jim Gordon needs my help more than ever now Mr. Freeze is back, we're gonna need a snowplow And the penguin's really feeling right at home now You used to call me on the bad phone Late night when you need my help Call me on the bad phone Late night when you need my help And I know when that bad phone rings can only mean one thing I know when that bad phone ring That can only mean one thing Saving Gotham City from these fools What was that? Ah. Hold on a minute Hello? Batman here? Yeah? Uh-huh? No, I'm, I'm not too happy with my current cable provider Yeah? Is that so? Uh-huh? That sounds like a pretty good deal Yeah? Huh. Does that include the sports package? Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh-huh. Right. So that price is good for two years, huh? Yeah. And then after that, it goes back to regular price. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get signed up for that. In Gotham City, Batman and Robin watch the Metropolis News. A skyline once filled with skyscrapers is now full of construction cranes after Superman battled General Zod. I spoke with James, a construction worker who's cleaning up the mess and rebuilding the city. I'm having to pay for this. You're having to pay for this. Everybody has to pay for this. Call him on the Superman phone. Get him over here and fix this. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist for the Daily Planet, Lois Lane, had this to say. I saw Superman that day. He went flying above me, yelling something about Aflac. I just thought he was having problems with his insurance company. During Superman's absence, crime rates have increased dramatically, creating a demand for lesser known heroes such as Green Canteen and Grass Man Man. Uh, the only enemy I've actually fought is dehydration. See, I have this uh, mystical canteen here that never runs out of water, so I usually hang back here where it's safe and help keep the heroes on the front lines good and hydrated. Green Canteen! Aquaman needs you! Hurry! Uh, there's uh, Wonder Woman calling. Uh, gotta go. Duty calls. Oh, always Aquaman. <laughs> we need to call him Water Boy. Hey, I got some brownies back here. Lois Lane pleaded for Superman's swift return. Superman, if you see this, please come home. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for what happened. For now, all we can do is rebuild and keep hope alive. I'm Kip Sterling for WMET News 3. Back to you, Tom. I wonder what caused Superman to do this. Hmm. One year earlier in Metropolis. Okay, let's see what is in the news today. <laughs> oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me! Ben Affleck's gonna be Batman! Oh, jeez, whatever. I can't believe that. Who makes these decisions? Oh, Clark, what is it now? Clark, what's up, buddy? Bruce! Bruce! Hey, 
Hey, slow down, slow down, Clark. Hey, have you seen the news today? What's wrong? Oh, it's all over the place. Ben Affleck is gonna be the new Batman. Yeah, I think I did hear something about that. Look, it's nothing to be upset about. Oh, nothing to be upset about, huh? Have you been at Catwoman's catnip? Well, this is madness. They cast an unknown actor to play me, and he's not even American. Well, Clark, you're not exactly American yourself, now are you? You are from another planet, remember? Yeah, well, I was raised in Kansas by humans. That's about as American as it gets. Yeah, well, next thing you know, they'll add Wonder Woman and Aquaman to the show, and then it'll just take more attention away from me. You're being ridiculous, Clark. They would never do something like that. And I swear to Raoul, if they cast Matt Damon as Robin... Oh, hey, take a deep breath, Clark. Clark. Clark, are you there? Clark? Hey, don't do anything stupid. Okay? Back to the present day in Gotham City. Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Hello. Bruce. Earth to Bruce. Oh, what's that? I asked you a question. Uh, I have no idea. Let's go get some pancakes. <laughs> the Knox by Night Radio Hour airs Sunday nights from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on 103.9 WOZO LP FM from Knoxville, Tennessee. You can also stream the show on the TuneIn Radio app by simply visiting wozoradio.com.